Good evening everybody, this is Sparky Mike. Welcome to Demonoid Drifter Channel. I'm just going to give you an update on what the PH and the call closer has been doing in the last several days. And thought I'd show this Gobi here that does an absolutely wonderful job of keeping the bottom turned over so it doesn't grow near as much algae. I bought three of these guys. And one we call a Mimic, which is kind of a tiger guy. Looks very similar, but he does not sift the bottom. He is a tiger, goby, something or other. He acts just like the other gobies. And these are called Diamond Spot. What was it, Mama? Diamond Spot Goby. Diamond Spot Goby or Diamond Goby? Yeah. But just wanted to show you a picture of him and what he does with the gravel all day long. Does an absolutely wonderful job of keeping the bottom turned up. Thought I'd, and a lot of personality too. So. Thought I'd show everybody a quick glance. Everybody seems pretty happy. So, we've had a couple improvements. The pH has stayed pretty steady and is not dropping quite as low at night and is maintaining a much better uh, calcium levels and alkalinity levels are doing pretty good. I throttled back the protein skimmer a little bit, or not protein skimmer, I'm sorry, the calcium reactor. Um, knowing that there was going to be more calcium and alkalinity being added by the calcium hydroxide or Kalklosser and so I throttled it back and of course the magnesium levels have dropped so in order to combat the slower affluent being dripped into the sump I have added Remag I have actually added it back to help bring up the magnesium levels. So, word of warning, if you're using Kalklauser along with a calcium reactor, throttle your calcium reactor back and then up the amount of magnesium to help supplement. Um, my magnesium levels had fallen down under 800 in the last four or five days, something like that. So, we have re-added the Remag back to secondary chamber on the calcium reactor and hoping to test here in a couple days and hope it'll bring bring it back up um, calcium levels have been 412 as of yesterday uh, German hardness DKH is 8.0 specific gravity 1.026 so thought I'd show you that and a couple phantom extreme clowns that we got the other day are doing well. Moved back in. And you can see that the gravel on the bottom of this tank has grown a lot of algae. Unfortunately, I have to either catch one of the diamond gobies upstairs and bring him down. Or grab another one or two for turning the bottom of this tank. The rose in me is looking gorgeous. And the three peppermint shrimp. I bought one became a victim of the anemone I believe during the night the other two are cleaning the little condylactus anemones or apostasia I should say anemones which there are two tiny ones left on the bottom corner of the rock and several of them have disappeared so the peppermint shrimp are doing their job although one did end up a victim of the rose anemone which is looking pretty nice today I'm just hoping these clowns will host in it pretty soon. And what else? Um, I haven't run across the oxygen generators yet. Still waiting to hear something on those. And in some of my research to help pH drop, or to combat the pH drop during the night, I decided that my hand-built dimmable coffee can 50 watt LED with warm white and blue XTE Cree chips was not enough to combat the pH fall in the night. 
So instead of spending 150 bucks for all the parts to build a wide band homemade UV UV or not UV but refugium light LED refugium light, I have decided to buy an H380 full spectrum Kessel light, which is due here tomorrow. And hopefully the additional 40 watts and full spectrum will help the Ketomorpha grow a little faster and compensate and help well consume the CO2 during the night and help the pH stay up. Um, also a neighbor of mine has given me an additional little tiny mangrove and wanted to comment that since adding mangroves to this sump the calcium reactor or sorry again the protein skimmer um, the skim mate that it's spitting out is not near as dark and nasty and grungy and since adding the mangrove it has lightened up and become much thinner and a lot less noticeable a lot less cleaning and everything else so thought I'd add that. I hope this helps somebody in the future. Appreciate the thumbs up and the comments. Have a great night. I will give another update once I see anything from the new Kessel Light and what it might be doing. I'll give another update. Have a great night. Take care.